Good morning guys. At least it's morning for me. It's about 7.30. Been on the road for about half an hour to get here. I'm at Overheat Hill. Redemption day. <laughs> Hopefully. This is take two. It's been uh, about uh, six plus weeks since it's burned up on my Overheat Hill test. Been running, uh, it's run, been running good this week and uh, Thought today's the day to give it a give it a, a retry. I'm here really early because uh, we're we're just still having really hot weather. Not a cloud in the sky. So 7:30 in the morning. It's uh, I'd say it's mid 70s right now. It's going to be warming up here pretty quick. So if I have a failure, <laughs> I I want to be done. You know by. Uh, 8.30 or so, so I can get out of here. Jeff is not around, so if I do have a failure, I'm gonna have to walk it out some other way. No, no crane today, even if there's a failure, but I'm hopeful there won't be. Uh, I have much better instrumentation now, this time around. I have EUC World connected, so I can monitor my temperatures easily. I have an alarm set for 90 amps. Now, it's interesting. When I'm cruising on the road, actually I can't enable alarms because uh, EOC World maxes out at 150 amps. Let's see if I can get SIBA to change that. Uh, and that, that triggers when you're cruising. But on trails, when you, I'm going slow, it seems 90 amps seems good. It only triggers when I'm really, uh, when I'm really stressing the wheel, so. As I go up this preliminary first hill, we'll see if we hear anything. There you go. Okay, that might be a bit annoying. I'm probably gonna have to change that. Uh, 50 degrees C now, the temperature climbed up uh, five or so degrees. Uh, we'll keep going here for a while, but I'm probably gonna change, change the alarm to a higher value. Uh, the current alarm might not, might not work good today, maybe. I obviously still don't have the current calibrated for this uh, Sherman. But I can tell you the wheel feels, it feels more powerful than it, than it did on that, that uh, first day on Overheat Hill. Now, veteran has confirmed with me that they did change the firmware to provide more power. Uh, I assume lower speed power. Now, and I also have a new motor, of course. I thought that the motor was, had only been modified with thicker wires, 12 gauge wires now instead of 14. We don't know if they made any other changes to the motor. I suppose it's possible. And uh, also there's concerns that, okay, they, they made the wheel slower. I'm not convinced of that. We're gonna have to see some people who get the production wheel. They're the crazies who want to test full speed, but uh, one of the local riders, Nick, he was riding this at about 50% battery and 
the 70% alarm was triggering at about 41 miles an hour for him. Still seemed pretty good. You know, maybe I'm just gonna leave that 90 amp alarm as is, just so you can get a sense when it's triggering that uh, the wheel is really working. Ah, that sun is right in my face. <laughs> I tell you, either I'm here Either in the morning I can't see in the sun, or in the evening I can't see in the sun, depending on the hill. Okay, and the temperature, 58 degrees. Okay. First preliminary test done. The wheel's feeling good. Oh, I also wanted to mention uh, the vibrations. I don't know if you happen to remember on the first hill test, I, I talked about how the wheel had, it would vibrate when it was, uh, when you were stopped like, like this and if I would move in a certain way, it would vibrate. Uh, that's gone. And they had told me that that was also part of the firmware upgrade that would have, was going to take care of that. Uh, so that's another good thing. Okay, I'll see you at the next uh, next hill. I'm at my preliminary stress test hill, which I have already done once before. Some of you might have seen that, but um, uh, I'm doing a complete hill, overheat hill test that I normally do in the same sequence. And uh, temperature is 50 degrees C. Uh, I'm at 85% battery. I changed the current alarm to 120 amps. See what that does. And, uh, let's give this a try. Excuse me. Yeah. Holy cow, man, really? Thanks. Man, a little exercise might be good. <laughs> there's, there's some of the things uh, I'm doing this for exercise. <laughs> and then it uh, gives me a hard time. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> 
All right. Here's the worst part coming up. First alarm. Whew. Okay. Temperature went up to 59 degrees C. Other than that, it felt pretty good. Uh, okay. Let's see, I'm gonna go down, so I'm going to change the tilt. Two degree downward tilt, which really does make it a lot easier to go down. And uh, see how this feels. See if the alarm triggers. Excuse me. Feels good. Lots of con lots of uh, power going down, meaning I feel under total control. No sense that the wheel might slip away from me. So in, in that respect, it's actually better than like the MSP even. Temperature 61 degrees. Climbed it a little bit. Okay. The big test is coming up over Heat Hill. See any guys in a few minutes. The moment of truth the base of Overheat Hill. Ah, it's, it's amazing. A little after eight, it's, I'm starting to get pretty hot. Must be in the, maybe in the 80s at this point. So the wheel's temperature is at 52 degrees C. Doesn't seem to be getting any cooler. So I just gotta give this a, give this a go. Now, unlike last time, I'm probably gonna stop if I feel the wheel's really struggling. Because uh, last time was a, you know, it was a stress test to find the limits. I know what the limits are, and more importantly, I know how the wheel behaves when it's under duress. Uh, and I'll be able to sense that, and I'll, I'll stop if that's happening. Uh, otherwise, I will just continue going, and we'll see, see what happens. Okay. Wish me luck.
53 degrees. And the sun is right in my face. Lovely. Ah. Ah. It's struggling. 61 degrees C. But the motor wasn't, uh, it wasn't feeling, feeling good. Um, uh, let's see, I might try this again. Part of the problem also is that um, I can't see. I'm going right in the crappiest part of the trail. It felt better the last time, but there's definitely bit of vibrations going on in the wheel. Okay, let's see. Ah, it's hard to, hard to do a perfect test. It's hard to see where you're going. Try again here. 60 degrees C. Hi. 68 degrees. Can I make it? Yeah! <laughs> I made it with a short stop. And that is the temperature alarm, 76 degrees. That's uh, EOC World doing that, not the wheel. As soon as it drops a degree, it should stop. There we go. Woo! Ah. That makes me feel good. So yeah, it wasn't continuous, but uh, I didn't edit it. So you, you saw, um, I think basically what happens is the sun was in my face and I, I was on the left side and it was just, just too bumpy and too much loose dirt. So the second time I, I took the track on the right, which I normally tend to do, and I made it. It was beeping like hell though. <laughs> So, uh, and I think you can tell, hopefully it comes across in the video, that um, the motor was not making all those weird grunting, grinding sounds that you definitely could hear the first time. 
So all you guys who were on the fence about the Sherman because of that test, place your orders. <laughs> uh, I'm really happy. Uh, again, not that I do that. That's not a hill I do for fun, <laughs> obviously. But now I know there's plenty of margin on this wheel and uh, or all, every practical condition, I think this is gonna be great. And uh, when I get home, I'll open up the wheel and I'm gonna inspect for any heat damage. Uh, so at the end of this video, if the video ends and you don't see him again, see me again, that means uh, I didn't find anything when I opened up the wheel. Otherwise you'll see me again. Okay guys, I hope you found this entertaining and uh, useful, particularly if you're considering a Sherman. And uh, I really do encourage you, if you've got the cash and you want the most powerful wheel on the planet right now, and personally I think, I mean there's no perfect wheel, but I think this is just the best wheel going right now. I absolutely love the Sherman, how it handles and rides and the power and the speed. Uh, Love this wheel. <laughs> okay, guys. See you in the next video.